Hello everybody, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to play for the worthy and master mode, so it's not going to be that easy, and I'm just going to see if I can like survive without dying, which is very unlikely, so I'm just going to like do this, create, um, uh, I guess we could call him. Oh, worthy because it's like for the worthy. So it's worthy. New world. Uh, so enter world name is seed. Then also master mode and large, and I can go random. I don't know if for the worthy has spaces or not. I'm gonna go check that. Do it. So for the worthy and master mode. So create. And I don't know how this is gonna go. Uh. Oh yeah, it's all in backwards, which means it's correct. If the text is all in backwards, it means it's correct. So that is master mode and for the worthy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to survive like a minute in for the worthy. <laughs> Look, it's if your inventory is full, you can press left control and Okay, I don't, but yeah, it's all the backwards, which is for the worthy. It's taking a look, what, why it says adding mushroom patches. So I'm gonna, like, in the beginning, I'm gonna just get hit by, like, a blue slime and, like, instantly die, probably. So, this is taking a while to load. So, creating underworld, probably because it's a large world and it's for the worthy. And for the worthy has like, Skeletron shoots out bombs and like there's special things in for the worthy that are in the normal game. Uh, I'm probably going to die, so. Yeah, this will not be fun, I'm just saying. For the worthy, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done a like I shouldn't have done a large world because this is taking way too long. Okay, please finish up large world. And it's almost done. I don't want to skip because like I don't know. I just I won't skip for this. You guys can skip the video, I guess. But almost done. It's almost done. Please finish. Yes, yeah, super close. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm scared, I'm kind of. Okay, where is it? What? Oh, I, I don't know exactly what I named it. The name was Universe Cool World. Oh, okay, that, that's master mode right there. So. Uh, I'm going to be playing this right here. So, yeah. I guess we're playing Experiment Master Mode. Okay. Wait. Look. Oh, wait. Why did a red scroll? I'm just gonna prove to you that there are bombs that drop from trees. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I want to find a blue. Sl oh, yeah, like that. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. Okay, let's see how much is. Oh, okay, 30. That's not a lot, actually, as much as I thought. But only 33 damage. Ah, ha, ha. Come on, blue slime. I thought you could do better than that, huh? Okay, but. Ah, okay. It's 
so yeah bombs do fall from trees which is kind of scary and i've never seen someone doing this on solo i've only seen like people doing this like uh, multiplayer so imagine if i beat terraria doing this which is very unlikely and i'm dead of course so uh, probably, I don't know what I'm going to do, because if I go into the caves, I'm going to get, like, constantly, like, destroyed by a bunch of, like, slimes. So I don't want to go into the caves. Like, yet. Not yet. Wait, oh, where's, this is spawn right here. So, going to make my house. And there's probably going to be some bombs falling from the trees, so I gotta watch out for that. Also, and I, if I, I'm probably not going to battle Skeletron Prime because, you know, unless you guys absolutely love this series, I'm not gonna make another episode because I'm gonna die a lot. But yeah, if you did, if you were to battle Skeletron Prime, then he, he would blow up your world. Oh, 16, yeah, that's good. Light. Because he shoots bombs, it just makes it harder. Because, you know, for the worthy, of course, they shoot bombs. Also, the title of this video is probably going to be Can I Survive My First Night in Expert Mode? And the answer to that is no, because I already died. So, <laughs> if you guys are curious about that, I'm about to die again. So, but it doesn't, it, you know, it makes sense because it's Expert Mode, right? Expert Mode and Master Mode, actually. Like, uh, for the worthy is hard enough. Like, if you guys like this series, then maybe I will make a, a for the worthy series. Because for the worthy and master mode, like, wow, for the worthy and master mode is kind of impossible. Well, just impossible for me. Maybe like, like pro YouTubers, like, can do it. But I'm not a pro YouTuber. And that was close. So, there's some mud right there. I'm just trying to find a, find a cave system because that's the only way I can survive out here. But finding a cave system isn't really a good idea either because, you know, if like if a zombie touches you, oh, it is not, that's a lot of copper or whatever it's called, not copper. Wait, there's, yeah, tin ore. And I think tin... I think, I'm pretty sure tin ore is kind of like, it's copper mode for like expert mode, Ma I mean master mode maybe. Not, oh wait, yes, okay, there's a tree. That's kind of good. Can I get the, fl oh, oh, boomerang is, a uh, boomerang does, why can't I click loot all? Oh wait. That's weird. Oh wait. Wait, why? Okay, loot all now works. So I have this boomerang and I'm going, I'm gonna try. Okay, I probably wanna craft some torches cause from that one green time I killed. But I wanna get the fletchling staff. And then I could actually be a summoner. Cause you know, I've always wanted to be a summoner but I've never gotten the opportunity to. Cause I've never gotten any summoner weapon. I'm constantly feeling like one of these chests are going to be rigged. Because, you know, it's master mode, why wouldn't... Oh, yes, it gave me more torches. That's good. More, any more chests down here? Should be. Okay, there's one more chest. Brisk anklets. Good. And there, I see another chest below me. So, it's good. And a step stool. And, wait, no. Loot all. A step stool with uh, nothing. So actually, brisk and brisk is good for the ankle. Then we got an iron skin potion. I probably want to put the dirt in front of that. And I actually found a cave. Like, is and some is that platinum? Silver. Wait. Okay. I I hear something dying. Probably not a good sign. You know. Just saying, probably not a good sign, something's dying. 
you know, if, if something's dying and that thing that's dying isn't me, it's bad because I should be the only thing dying here. I know slimes can kill like bunny rabbits and stuff. So, you know, bunny rabbits might be having as hard of a time as I am. This is not as easy. Oh god, that's a lot of silver, actually. That's some good loot, and now I probably I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, that living tree was actually pretty lucky. And there's some lead over there, which is also good. And, um, do I have any glow? Nope, I don't. Okay. Actually, I have some shine potions. So, I'm gonna use some shine potions and just go check. Because, nope, there's no life crystal. I, I just thought that. Because, you know, there are always life crystals. Hot. That was, that was like a hot tamale. Except for it was lava, and it wasn't a tamale. Okay, how I'm I'm touching lava right now, so might be able to get over here, please. Some emeralds, nice, nice emeralds. And there may be a chest down there. But anyways, there is a lot of lead, and that's what I kind of am wanting, like making some armor. So I can actually, like, not get too hit, too tap by a blue slime like, on my first day. Like, that is kind of, you know, embarrassing. That is actually very embarrassing, getting too tapped, be, getting too tapped by a blue slime, be like, you know, getting too tapped by a blue slime, be like pumpkin ice. That is what the Pumpkin Bison channel is all about, getting too tapped by a blue slime. And look at those pro gamer moves. Actually, not pro gamer because there's a blue slime right there. And I probably am going to die to this blue slime. Oh no, there are two blue slimes. Uh, wow, I was I was mistaken. Oof, that hurt. No thank you, blue slime. That really hurt. And what did I tell you? Oh, oh yes, I got it. I got it before it hit me. So that that is a lesson to everyone watching this video all always yeah always go into water if you're trying to find a blue a life crystal also that music is way too loud so the 60 percent but yeah that is how you get a, a life crystal just go i'm gonna go into water that is the strategy that is the actual strategy and that was kind of that was amazing I go, I'm going really fast. Like, it feels like I have Hermes boots or something. She, I was going pretty fast like that. Oh wait, I forgot we have the, demol the demolitionist because it's for the worthy. So I'm, oh yeah, I, I died because I dropped all my gold. I had 82 gold and that was the first night. I killed one green slime and that one green slime dropped me 82 gold. So imagine like late game, I can basically re-roll all the stats on all of my equipment. But I'm going to probably want to farm up some stone. Oh no, okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, my boomerang should get some good range damage so I can stay like here while it's attacking the blue slime. Like this, that's like, okay, except unless it, that happens to you. Now I got this blue slime, oof. Okay, get boomerang KO'd. And now I got some more gel. So that is, that's basically how to kill any blue slimes or green slimes. Get destroyed slime. Oh, there's so many slimes. Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, it's cause master mode has enemies, has, an enemy spawn rate, uh, it, it's, the enemy spawn rate is, you know, boosted. Okay, that is bad if that, okay, going to seal myself off right there, put a torch right here, and start mining some stone. Because I need stone to make a furnace, I'm, I will, I need, I believe I need 30 stone to make a furnace. So I'm going to just, you know, get some stone here. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So I'm scared that as soon as I break this, someone's slimes. Oh, and that's a purple slime. Just that's just my luck. That's just that's just okay. Why is there a blue slime party? 
I feel like the blue slimes are having a party over here, and I'm not invited. And grab this mushroom for some healing. Eat that mushroom, even though it only heals 15 health. And there's some more blue slime. My demolitionist has been going to work killing those slimes. Okay, that the green slimes do like as much damage as the blue slimes. Must not be much of a difference. Anyways, I should be able to make. Oh, I can make an anvil, not a furnace. Okay, I have. So I have enough wood. I have 200 wood. I have. Oh, I don't have enough torches. I need. I think you need like six torches. But can probably. Yep, I can craft some torches. Okay. So gonna craft some of these. So now I should. Yep, I saw it pop up. Okay. So. Now I'm going to smelt down some of these silver bars, and I might be able to make a silver sword. So there you go. I need actually only needed three torches, so I was one away. So I'm gonna replace that mushroom for right now. Then I'm also gonna make an anvil, and I don't want to replace my grenade. I'm gonna replace my wood, and it's uh, I should have. Yeah, I'm gonna die a lot during nighttime because course i didn't make a shelter and so i can make a lead pickaxe just like that so fast speed very fast speed and it has a bit more range and some more pickaxe parts so it's just overall a improvement of an eight silver bars silver broadsword okay uh fast speed that's act silver broadsword actually isn't that much of an improvement from the, the wooden sword. Like, I hate to say that, but it's kind of true. And can now craft. Lead is just as good as silver. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, so I, where did I get three iron? Oh, I was talking about lead. So. I don't, I, I don't know if I can make any armor. Probably not, I can just make a bucket. And I got a few pieces of tin. I can make a reinforced fishing pole. And an empty bucket's not gonna help, really. But what I could make, I'm gonna make chest. And also, I'm going to make a wooden bow. So, I don't know exactly, like, wait, okay. I don't know if I, like, if I can craft arrows yet. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm going to craft 300 arrows, plop those right there, and I am doing a little bit better, like, just material-wise. So now I have this lead pickaxe. I still have a copper axe, and I still have some pretty bad armor. I just have wood and armor still. So I'm gonna chop down these trees and hopefully, like, hope. Oh no, I forgot they have. I'm sorry, bunny, but you're gonna have to go. But yeah, there are explosive bunnies in expert mode, and I'm gonna make some stone walls. Since it's probably more reliable than wood, because, you know, wood's limited. Kind of, not really limited, but. Anyways, I'm gonna make myself a nice shelter here. And in master mode, uh, I think it's just expert mode, but zombies can open doors unless you have iron doors. So I'm gonna see if I can make an iron door. But I probably don't have enough lead. Yeah, I don't. I can't make some fences, though. So now I have eight fences. And I, why can't, I can't make, wait, oh. Oh, wait, I can't, so. I'm kind of fiddling around right now. So I'm, nope, I, I wait, what, okay. Wait, wait, I think I need a, whatever, I'm not gonna change that for right now. gonna place that right there because it might look kind of nice and it's about to be nighttime 
So I'm going to want to make some NPC housing for my guy, the demolish, demol, demol, demolitionist was what I meant to say. And so make a door for him real quickly. Um, I can just do this. So make a door for him. I also need. Uh, I can do a crafting table and wooden chair. Actually, I already had a crafting table. Don't, don't need that. So, wooden chair and a wooden a wooden thingy. I'm a bob. I don't know. So, uh, a a wooden table. I don't know what to say. So, anyways, then place that down. And yeah, the demolitionist looks like he needs a home right now. I'm gonna turn all this into some walls. Probably still not enough walls. Just no terraria. And actually it is enough walls. I'll then place one torch. Okay, got some explosions. But the demolitionist does do a lot of damage, so he can probably defend the house. And the housing is suitable. So that also means look, he he can two shot a blue slime. Oh man, that, that blue slime did a lot of damage. Okay, so, probably want to stay inside all night. But I still technically haven't survived my first night in Terraria, because uh, the first night has already passed. So I'm gonna place a sign that says Pumpkin Bison, because of course. And I can also, make a few flaming arrows, which I'm gonna plop right there. And I can make also some more torches. Oh, and I can make also a campfire. So, I'm going to place a campfire right here. Which I can't actually place it here. And it would be, oh, why does he keep, oh, he keeps opening the door. I, I'm, oh, dude, he keeps opening the door. What? Oh, he's dead, of course, because he opened the door. It's kind of his fault. Now I have a purple slime in the house, but. And, okay. Oh, 60 damage. Excuse me, purple slime. Okay. As I was saying, I'm going to go quickly and place that, and I'm also I'm going to place this. Wait. So, pumpkin bison cottage. Okay, here close. So, even though it's not much of a cottage, because this is, of course, for the worthy, you know, for the worthy. And it's, I'm not really, I'm not that worthy, you know. But, oh yeah, so, my, I don't know why the zombies aren't breaking the door yet, because I'm pretty sure they can't. But, that also brings me to my next point, where we, while the night is still not over yet, I'm going to start hoiking. And I think my chest is kind of in the way, but I'm just, I think I can hoik a little bit up. Like this, this, this. Okay, that's good. And then, where's my hammer? Crafted this hammer just so I could hoik. So, now, I get this. I don't even, pretty sure it's called hoiking. Yeah, so, it's basically, oh, it keeps doing that glitch, like where, Oh, wait, what? That, what's the odds of that? What are the actual odds? Wait, I, I just heard another zombie die. Imagine if there were, was a zombie arm right there. That would be insane. The zombie arm. Ah, oh, it, it's a tar- it's- Look, it's a, dude, the falling stars are killing all of them. So I think- if I can't use my, uh, my 
one hammer, I'm just gonna have to keep placing them till it's right. This, oh wait, or I can go right here and maybe, oh yes, that works, does it? Nope, stone wall. Why, why won't it, look, it won't, it won't try to hit. I don't know what, what this AI is. Okay, whatever, that a failed hoik. It's not working. Oh, that was a bad idea. 85 damage, 85 damage. Okay, please have not back. I for I forgot that the, 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 oh, he's coming closer. He's coming closer to me. Oh, and the door's open. That's not good. That's not really, that, that's not really good. Why are there so many fallen stars? What is this? Oh no, another zombie's coming in the house. Okay, first of all, I wanna close the door. Uh, then I'm gonna... Uh, wait, do I... Yeah, I'm just gonna like build into the sky. Oh yeah, I forgot. Very strong knockback. And this one has average knockback. Wait, so I should be able to knock them back even better. I forgot about the enchanted boomerang. Yes, and plus 15% knockback. Extremely high knockback. So, I can please start. Nope. Mm. That's an, kind of. That's annoying. Because it now has a strong enchanted boomerang, which it has even more knockback. So, it has in extremely. Extremely strong knockback. So, now I can go like this and knock them back, like basically infinitely because it has insane knockback and it does a good amount more damage. Um, I want I really want to get those fallen stars. Whatever, I'm going to risk 106 damage I'm in one heart cuz I have 120 damage. If I hadn't picked up that heart crystal, I would be dead right now. Anyways, I can uh nope. There, there are no NPCs spawning either. Just gonna have to wait it out, I guess. Why are there so many fallen stars? This is like, this doesn't make sense. Fallen stars. Uh, I'm gonna try, I don't know if I should. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go for the fallen stars. Yo, there's so many fall what, another fallen star. Another fallen star. Another why? Are there okay, I have another there are like 20 fallen stars. Like what? Say what? That was uh, that was a bad idea, but also a good idea because I got a lot of fallen stars. The reason I did that was also I didn't want the the video to just be me sitting in my house all day. So I'm going to try to like, actually do something. And why are there, are there even more? Fa another fallen star? There are two more fallen stars over there. I, another fallen star just killed that zombie. That, that is, that is a lot to fallen stars, may I say. So I'm gonna try to pick up all those fallen stars. Hopefully I can go, go, go. Uh, another fallen star? Are you joking? What? Like, like it's like infinite fallen stars. I, 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 I don't know how many fallen stars I have in my inventory right now, but it's probably a lot. I can make some mana crystals at least. And I might go mage just because of all these fallen stars. I might become a mage. Which, another fallen star? Wait, I, I hear another fallen star. Over here. Oh, uh, nope, there, I guess I was being tricked. Okay, one, oh, the enemy AI. I, he, like, when they, they can jump. That's, uh, I think we're starting to make a graveyard over here. Graveyard biome. Right. Okay, wait, how do I get out, okay. Wait, is this kind of, some kind of joke? Another fallen star right here. Another fallen star right here. I have 21 fallen stars from one night. Another fallen star right here. Is this mad? This is madness. Another fallen star. 
Another one. Another one. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. Mm, okay, that's a demon eye. That. Uh, that. Why is that zombie tiny? That zombie's tiny. And then these other. Uh, these are big boy zombies. I keep okay another fallen star right here should be daytime soon and that's when I'm gonna repair the house yeah there's a graveyard bomb here there's there's starting to be a graveyard bomb so more fallen stars wow another one right here wow there's way too many fallen stars way too many wait that's another fallen star yeah, I think this is like something that has to do with. So when I'm going, I'm going, and I'm see they jump whenever you jump. It's like, like I can't, I can't jump because then they'll jump. Like, it's impossible for me to evade them, and I can't tank them because I have wooden armor. Of course, I've wooden armor because I wasted all my silver to make a silver broadsword. Look, if I jump up, like look. I, if I jump up, they jump up. That is... There's a grave... I heard the graveyard music. There's a graveyard right over here. I'm ju I just have... Is that another fallen star? Another one? Okay, there's way too... What, why did I spawn on top of a zombie? Like, another fallen star over here? Yes, please. Two more fallen stars? Another fallen star. Well, not really that surprising. I had to edit, like, you might have seen a cup scene. I had to edit that out because, of course, my sister came in and, like, started, like, I don't know. She was just blabbering about stuff. So, yeah, I, uh, you know, like, a lot of the cutscenes are just because of my sister, so. Yeah, sorry, guys. Well, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up here if you guys do want to see another episode uh, subscribe and i'm probably i don't know if i'm gonna make one, another episode because this uh you know this is like really hardcore for like pro gamers but yeah uh, if you guys want to see another episode if we can hit smash 10 likes i will do it so yeah see you guys in the next episode